Hey guys, I'm finally back after a month and a couple of weeks of not doing reviews. But I had a good excuse, school was really keeping me busy. But now I finally got my hands on a Samsung Wave and let's get right into the review to make sure it doesn't go like the last two videos I tried doing, 13 and 15 minutes. Let's make this one shorter. On the outside of the Samsung Wave, you'll have a 3.3 inch wide VGA Super AMOLED screen, your front facing camera, call and call end and menu button. On the right side, you have your camera key with your lock key. On the left, you have your volume, volume rocker keys. On top, you have a 3.3 mm headset jack, your loudspeaker grill, and your sliding cover for your micro USB connection. On the bottom, you only have your microphone pinhole. On the back, you have a um, 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. Um, the phone itself in general feels really great to look at. It has a great design, a little feminine, but I like it. Um, it's it's good looking and it it feels great to hold. It's made of metal and not plastic, unlike my um, Corby Pro, which is made of plastic. You can clearly hear it. clear a distinct difference. It's very high quality. Has a little bit of heft to it. It's not heavy by any means. It feels great to hold, but has a little bit of heft to it for a device of this size and makes it feel premium. Um, when you get into the interface of the phone, this is your lock screen. You can swipe any way or anywhere you want and unlock. Um, you'll find your home screens which are occupied by widgets. This is um, your battery operating system. It's very similar to what you're used to from previous Samsung devices that ran the TouchWiz user interface. Um, what's new though, you have the notification bar that gets pulled down from above um, that gives you quick access to your Wi-Fi, turning on and off, Bluetooth, your notifications as well as silencing your phone. So it's really great to have that. Um, You'll see, by, you're, you'll see very soon by um, getting into the phone that it has a great uh, uh, screen. The brightness, the resolution are great. Um, if only just a little bit small, 3.3 inches. But everything else about it is fantastic. The colors look amazing. The um, screens, the texts are sharp, very readable from far distance as well. Very good quality of the screen. Not on par with the iPhone 4, I wouldn't say, but the color contrast is definitely better. Sunlight legibility, however, suffers, and iPhone 4 is superior in that sense. But this is definitely a brighter screen. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, when you go your menu, you go through your menu with the menu key. It's a flat structure like the iPhone, except the screens are looped. So, from page 3, you go swipe to the right, swipe to the left from 1 to go to 3. So and they all all the icons are laid out in flat. Um, only the setting um, setting icon allows you to delve deeper and go um, into deeper settings. Otherwise, everything is one touch. You get into the application. You also have a file system that allows you to look at all the files, your phone files or your memory card files, which is excellent to have. Excellent to have. Um, back in the menu, you'll uh, you have the option of editing where the menu icons go. Um, and you'll see when you click done or edit, there's a wave action that goes through the icons, which I guess goes with Samsung Wave. So it's quite cool to have. It's not the eye candy doesn't this hurt phone at all. I think actually the eye candy of this phone is um, and its user interface are one of its main selling features. In fact, when you go into um, contacts, um, you'll find one of the one of the really cool features is you have all your contacts, and if you swipe to the right you automatically go into a call with that contact and if you swipe to the left sorry to the left you send them a message so it's really cool and really quick oh there's my contact send them a message you know and it'll automatically show up I think that's really convenient and really cool as well with the um, with the buddies now widget you can have your favorite icon contacts right on your home screen so you don't have to click contacts they're right there message or call so very quick very good to have um, this is also another widget this is your days widget uh, you can occupy t up to 10 home screens with widgets and you add them right here you take a widget and you drag it this is a new screen actually this one on the previous screen so let's take another one put it there um, take this move it over yeah so you can put your widgets on up to 10 screens and if you want to delete screens if you have extra screens you want to delete them you do it like this all these eight, um, screens are occupied with widgets right now so if you take a widget off um, off the screen, so let's take this one off. So this screen is now empty. When I go over here, I can delete that screen, and it'll only become four. And you can do up to ten screens. 
Um, and yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Um, another thing we can talk about is the navigation. I'm not going to go into it right now, but it does come with navigation software. However, you do have to purchase a license, which is kind of a bummer because Android phones do come with free um, Android phones as well as Nokia phones, actually, I should say, come with free uh, navigation on their smartphones. So it's kind of a pity that Samsung decided not to include this with their bad operating system. Oh, cool. I got a new message, so I can show you guys something awesome. Um, first of all, let's go to the music uh, application. In the music application, you can be playing a song. Um, actually, no, before that, you can you have all your tracks. You can see all your tracks, as well as your playlists and albums. And it also is side scrollable, so that's really cool to have. You can see everything. Um, in all your tracks, when you turn the phone sideways in, in a list of things, it goes into a 3D scroll, not unlike our cover flow, but very unlike our cover flow. I find this much nicer and cooler. And you have access to all your songs. It's very smooth, very um, coherent, very touch sensitive. And it's nice to have. But if you have a lot of stuff through this, this is going to be kind of an inconvenient way. It's also the list as well to scroll up and down. You have the option to search, or you could click here. And it'll give you it in alphabetical order, and you can go to, oh, there is what I want, or there is what I want. You can click, and it'll go there, and you can play the song. So it's really convenient to have that, really good to um, be able to do that. And I'll just show up here. Um, you can also do this with albums, you can do it with your playlist, you can do it with your anything. So all of these things show up that way as well. If there's less of them, of course, there's going to be less circles. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys this. So while you have a song playing, you let's go to T so we don't have any copyright issues there. If you have a song playing, I'm going to lower the volume. Okay, so if you have a song playing and you lock the screen, you're listening to your music and you want to change your song. You have your CD icon right there, and that CD icon, when you click it, scrolls down and gives you quick access to your music keys. You can click next song, you can click back, you can click pause, and you can also use the volume rocker keys to adjust volume. It's actually very good. As well, now that we're here and I got a new message, this is why I want to show you guys. You have you get a puzzle when you get a new message. So you can take this puzzle piece, there's your message puzzle piece, you can drag it to the puzzle um, empty hole, and boom, it just brings you to the message that you got. It's excellent, and it's a very quick to, way, instead of having to unlock, here, like this would be the not normal way, I would unlock the phone, click messages, and then click new message, you know? It just drag out there, and you're in it. So it's really cool. These are all the eye candies that come with this phone, and I really do add to the user experience. I find them very um, pleasing, especially for the average user. They'll be very... Um, They'll be very attracted to these. One um, thing that I'm not satisfied with this phone is also has to do with messaging. When you're using the on-screen keyboard, the portrait mode is almost unusable for me. If you see, if I put my two thumbs on this beside each other and put them on the screen, it almost covers the whole thing. This is a narrow screen, and the keys are much smaller as well. So it's very inaccurate. You have to type very slowly to get to be accurate. See, I didn't get a um, space right there but so okay so when you're adding text however the um, spacebar is much larger okay this is giving me this weird message let's just erase it okay you don't want it to there so when you're writing the spacebar is much bigger but this this is okay right so if I get used to this keyboard I can write okay-ish here okay I messed up my sharifi but that's all again it's too small for me so I turn it to the landscape mode and oh, it's great, right? The keys are big, but then when it comes to the space bar, it's tiny. The space bar is only barely bigger than a key, and there's empty spaces on either side of it. It makes it very inconvenient to type for me, and I really dislike the keyboard for this. So I, this is one of my biggest niggle, um, biggest problems with this phone. So yeah. The keyboard is one of the weak points, as well, occasionally, especially if you have Wi-Fi on, if you have Wi-Fi on and an um, internet using widget on your home screen, you'll experience unbearable lag. So it'll just start lagging and whatever you do, nothing will work, none of the lock screen buttons, nothing will work. And then after about 10-15 seconds, the phone suddenly decides to work again and it does everything you've done all at once. So there, even though it's a 1 GHz processor, all the animations and stuff run smoothly, there's still a lot of lag. But the screen quality is amazing, the camera quality is great, the build quality is great, battery life is excellent, um, the, and the user interface, 
I'm okay with it, you know, and it's very nice. So this phone is definitely a recommended phone. Just beware of the keyboard and beware of the um, occasional lag. And I think you're gonna like this device when you get it. Another final kind of niggle, but I think that's that can't be made at the phone itself, but it's kind of the operating system. There aren't many applications for the beta um, operating system right now. The Samsung App Store is quite limited, quite small, nothing, in, nothing that can be compared to Android or Apple. So those are just basically its main weaknesses. So I'll be sure to put a link to the specs of this phone on the descriptions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys until the next one. Bye.